Now Brian will make this call and we go to the river. Hope this and this time, Justin's going to make it 300 to go. Gets a call by Brian. Now Brian playing the three suited, really clarifying that he's here to gamble and have fun. Faraz has queen jack of spades, so he will three bet out of the small blind. Faraz, what you start with? 20. 20. Perfect. Enough that I can call this queen nine of clubs. Brian going out. Figured if I raise the fifth time in a row, I might get three bet one by somebody. I don't know. Picking the same thing. Thought that was a little obvious, though. Flops a king, nine, three. So nines for Justin. Inside straight draw for Faraz. Pretty good board for Faraz here. Certainly one Justin will continue on, but some possibilities for Faraz with the gut shot and the backdoor spades. Justin will make the call of 1,300. Go into the turn. Oh, three nines here for Justin. Well, that will slow down the action from Faraz. Justin oddly checks back. I'm a very confused by that, but it's gonna work out great as Faraz is going to take this bluff opportunity and go real big. So Justin, with what turns out to be a brilliant check on the turn, induces a big bluff from Faraz and gets paid with his trip nines. He threw the line, Tony, put a little fishy on it, and the whale took a shot. Is that nitty just to call there, guys? I don't know. I was thinking how brilliant the check on the turn was. <laughs> I wasn't really thinking about the river. <laughs> I like the check on the turn. Let the guy go fishing. He got a big hand, and it works out beautifully. We're gonna get a raise by Brian here with a 9-10. Oh, I thought it was 1-2. <laughs> Brian doesn't just mid raise, he then admits mm -hmm. he was attempting to limp. Make sure I play. I'm playing stupid. I understand. Yeah. I'm the only one you can beat. How do you play this game? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> Flop is a queen, 10-3. A little something for Brian with middle pair for our bottom pair and a backdoor flush draw. So both players will continue. Faraz, the aggressor, going to the turn. And he will pick up a flush draw to go along with his bottom pair, but it is Brian with two pair now well in the lead. And I'm curious here, Vince, will Brian check call or check raise this turn? Raise 3,000? I actually think it's a dangerous situation to check raise these middling two pair hands on a three straight board, but Brian gonna go for it, makes it 3,000, and this will work out really well against Faraz's specific hand here. Can Faraz get this flush here? No, it gets better for Brian, not that he needed it. 10 of diamonds fills him up. I'm all in. Well, that's gonna be overkill. He's shoving for four times the size of the pot, and it's a bit much if he really wants to get called over here. I like his using a big bet. That's a great card to use a big bet on, but four times the size of the pot, clearly too big. If uh, they don't know what it is, we can just turn them over right now so we can all see what they... Just, that'd be the gentleman thing to do. This could be you. Get a free shot at winning a seat into a WPT main event at clubwpt.com. Sign up for free today using bonus code YT34. I got introduced to this game. I was playing at a, at a game off the strip. Mm -hmm. um, lost miserably. Mm -hmm. And I came to Aria to recoup my money and had a nice night last weekend. I took, I took Aria for a half million in blackjack wow. in like an hour and a half. Wow. They didn't want to give me the cash because they were afraid I was going to get robbed. Wow. Wait, why are you walking out the door with half a million dollars in cash? I put it in, I put it in a trash bag. Because <laughs> he's going to put it in a trash bag. I don't blame him. What, what year is this? The only poker uh. players can say it so casually. <laughs> Flop is a king five deuce. Neither player getting that. Faraz and Shane, they go check, check. And an eight on the turn. So nothing interesting here. Check, check again. Nine on the river. There's a card that Shane can bet. This is Shane Sigsby. 
There we go. That's the pot. Sports better. Married with two kids. He likes to back poker players up. Tony, this is a good guy for you to know, right? Used to be, but now I'm rich. <laughs> hey, where's your paper bag? <laughs> it's a trash nice. bag, Vince. I got it all in a trash bag. Oh, yes. <laughs> so Shane Sigsby taking one down here at the WPT Cash Game, presented by Baccarat Crystal. Gonna fold. Now, for Roz. Oh, it's to me, right? Yeah. Oh, I forgot. It was so used to Makes it 700. I just didn't want him to get a walk, and I was gonna fold no matter what. Justin out. Brian with a pair of fives, though. Oh. Getting a nice price with his fives there. We'll see the flop in position. And a flop is a king, eight, seven. Faraz hitting sevens here, out flopping Brian. Nice check from Faraz on this coordinated oh. board. Oh. He'll just check call with his bottom pair, use it as a bluff catcher. Three of diamonds on the turn. Faraz checking again. I like Brian's bet on the flop, too. But I don't like this turn bet. I think that if Brian wants to bet the turn, he needs to go much larger to clear out some of those one pair hands, like a king seven, or he should just check behind and try and get the showdown. Four diamonds on the river. Check, check. So Faraz Jaka has to be happy about that. The man that lives out of a suitcase, 17 cashers on the WPT, finally takes down a pot. Long time no eat. I always get so nervous when I show a hand I think's good, and then they reach for their hands to show it, and they show it anyway. I'm just like, <laughs> that can't be good. Yeah. <laughs> Cash game presented by Baccarat Crystal. Five players going at it here today. In the cash game, as you can see, Justin Young is the big winner, close to 10,000. Brian also winning, everyone else stuck at this point. And we're gonna have a straddle by Justin Young for 200. Wow, you straddle the button, get two fives? No, man. I played it like a, like a baby. <laughs> Brian Ercolano not gonna play Shane. King five of clubs with the button, will make it 600 to go. Faraz will call ace, 10 of diamonds, and Johnny. Oh, thank goodness. I didn't want it to call. Oh, gosh. Yeah, Whew. Goes up to 2,200. Shane out for Roz. Ace, 10 of diamonds, beautiful spot. So building a good pot here. That's flop. Nine, six, six, two diamonds. Interesting board here. I think with the ace high flush draw, Faraz will take a passive route. Yes, he does with the check call. And with the ace of clubs on the turn, he will lock up this pot. But that card is better for Johnny to represent as the pre-flop three better. So you see him cutting out a bet. Yeah, he's going to continue to push here with his four flush. Little does he know that would be disaster if a diamond should appear. Faraz just calling. Will a diamond appear? No, it's a jack on the river. Faraz gonna check and mm. try to hook the fish. Johnny Vibes is gonna continue the potential larceny. Does he have enough to chase Faraz away? It looks like a, well, nothing yet. Check. And Johnny dodges the bullet by not betting the river. I'm really glad a flush didn't come. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my. Missed yeah. a shove on the flop. That was a jack of diamonds for a second. Did you think you were good? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't think it's folding, but I don't know if he thought he was good. Faraz Jaka now is starting to come back a bit. And it's right back on Brian. Pair of eights there, he's got to like that. And he'll make it 300 to go, that's a raise. And Shane and Faraz go away. But a very strong ace queen by Johnny, he's gonna make it 1,500. Trying to build a pot against the less experienced Brian out of position with the ace queen. Brian makes the call with the eights in position. Gets a pretty nice flop for his hand, but also one that Johnny will want to continuation bet pretty frequently. So it is a thousand from Johnny over to Brian. And he makes the call. 
Johnny hits Queens. Nice card for Johnny, of course. Takes the lead with top pair, top kicker, and a card that his range will want to bet quite often. Now, Brian, with just eights. How much you got behind you? I got uh, about another nine. I'm all in. He's gonna shove. Whoa, he puts Johnny all in here. Mm. Doesn't feel like a bluff. And Johnny, of course, not gonna fold top pair, top kicker, so he's gonna get it in real good here. And Brian, with two outs going to the river, gonna need a miracle. Wow. Absolute disaster here for Brian, taking a stab at the wrong time. Eight. Come on, buddy. Let's see if the miracle happens down to the river card. Is it gonna be an eight? No. Ah. <laughs> Dagger. 13. Strike three. Not going to work out for Brian. And that is devastating for him. Big pot for Johnny Marino. Faraz Jaka going out. Johnny's going to make this 300 to go. And 1,000 by Justin with four deuce of hearts. Well, Justin knows better than this. That must work but he's on the button in a televised cash game and having some fun, so E3 bets 4-2 suited. All because it's you, man. Yeah, I know. Don't worry, I'll probably just... I thought it was four, I thought I was gonna discount. <laughs> Three guys going to the flop, nobody holding a card over a four. I don't think I've ever said that before. Flop is a queen, 7-7, seven, seven, no help to anybody. Really? Not gonna bet? I'm terrified. And they all go check. Now there is a five of hearts. So now Justin with the four flush. Less scared. And he will bet it. 1,500. Brian, with just a pair of threes, will he stick around? Yes, he's going to gamble. Makes the call. Johnny gets out of the way, going down to the river. Brian has been the stickiest player in this game thus far. It's a three! Ooh, the oh, the three of hearts. hearts! What a perfect card for action on this river. So Brian filling up with threes full. Justin getting a flush. Brian's gonna come out. He's gonna bet 4,000. This is a nice call from Justin here. He's gonna get the bad news, but he's gonna feel pretty good about the fact that he didn't put more money in on that river. I have a flush. <laughs> I'm back, baby. I'm back. I'm here for you. Thanks, man. You're just boosting my confidence. I was a little on tilt. This could be you. Get a free shot at winning a seat into a WPT main event at clubwpt.com. Sign up for free today using bonus code YT34. Brian here with a pair of queens. Launched it January this year, and then COVID happened, and then the world ended. Now over to Shane with his ace, queen of diamonds in the small blind. He's been snug so far tonight, but we'll three bet this hand up to 1,300. And I like this call from Brian. I think a lot of inexperienced players may automatically move to four bet, but Shane has been solid. And I don't think he's three betting light very much. So a good call from Brian there in position. Now facing this bet of 1100, makes this call. Four on the turn. And now Shane's slowing down. Yeah, good decision to slow down by Shane here. He really just doesn't have much hand going to the river. And if Brian has a king, he's drawing dead, so. So Shane has to let that one go. Brian Ercolano going to take down that pot. When you're renovating a place over there at Palm Spice, are there like a lot of restrictions? You got to get approval first, or how does that work? Unless you're doing something like structural, you know? Like if we had like a, we wanted to add a helipad. Okay. So we were looking to get that approved. We wanted to add a helipad. I mean, I guess if you need to drop off your garbage bags full of cash, as quick and privately as possible, you may need that. Otherwise, I'm not sure who besides a supervillain needs a helipad connected to their apartment. <laughs> How cool would that be to have a helipad, right? That has direct access to your unit? 
Yeah, because you just land on the roof and then you just walk down That's and so straight from the camera. Yeah, you know. It's a big bet. Do you want the action? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I mean, talk me into it. <laughs> if I didn't, I'd be in my bed right now. All right. Yeah, I was, wasn't sure if it was one of those bets where you're like, everybody get out. I don't want to deal with the hand. You know. Flop is a 10-10 ace. Yeah. So Faraz with the sevens. About 1,100, I think about six. 3,000. 3,000? <laughs> wow! <laughs> oh, man. It's going to work. Show on. Show on? Pick one. Uh, close adjustment. Ooh. That's a good one. <laughs> Brian's in there battling. What's your poker coaching patch? Me? Yeah. It's poker coaching. Uh, I mean, he's got a poker coaching patch. And you just beat him out of a pot. No, what do you say? I want to know where his poker coaching patch is. <laughs> What's poker coaching? It's a um, training site okay. that Jonathan Little started. I do like tournament, tournament training videos and quizzes, stuff like that, live streams. That's cool. Got coaching for recreationals, pros, everything. Faraz, a very mellow and patient poker player and disposition at the table, lends itself to being a natural coach. Do you play poker full time? Yeah, yeah. tournaments mostly. Okay. In Vegas? Uh, in everywhere. Vegas? Yeah, travel internationally. Faraz this time with a pair of kings. Never did much coaching be videos before, but once COVID started, couldn't travel anymore, so. Yeah, so I blew up. Yeah. And the flop is a jack-10-6, open-ended for Brian. Faraz with the big overpair. Interesting pot developing here. I want the action, just so you know. Well, you'll get it. How much action? 2,000. What do you got behind you? Just here. OK, you have a lot. <laughs> Brian seemingly considering just shoving it in on the flop and then realizes, nah, he's got a little too much for that. Oh. And I call here. Can he snap Faraz here? Not there. Three of diamonds. But now he's got a four plus two. He's got everything. He just keeps leading out. And he leads out for 4,000. One eleventh pot, which is not going to get the job done. So Faraz makes it 4,000. Brian definitely going to continue. It's really a matter of how. Now Brian will make this call, and we go to the river. Hoping to strike lucky, and he does so! Oh, wow, king. what a oh. card! And the fact that it doesn't even complete one of the flushes out there, I mean, that's just a bonkers card for Brian to hit. Owen. And there he goes, and ugh. Faraz just, you can tell he's just resigned to calling this with top set. Just a certain, oh god, what have I just run into? Absolute devastation for Faraz Jaka. Brian, with the straight here, is going to drag a huge pot. Faraz is going to have to reload. I was worried about that. I was like, I can't pull that. You almost got me off of it with the diamonds. I didn't like that river card. I was like, <laughs> I was like, I can't pull. Well, here's a look at the chips around the table for the moment. Faraz Jaka just lost that big pot, now down 25,000, and it's reloaded for 20 more. Shane Sigsby, the only other player down for the moment, and Brian Ercolano, big winner at this time, up about 23,000. Both Justin and Johnny up small. Action on Shane, quick fold by him. Faraz with queen, eight of diamonds. We'll make it 300 to go. Coming back for it. All right, baby, Gotta let's try. go. Gotta try. Ace 10 for Brian, calling. The flop is an eight, seven, three. Faraz hitting top pair there. 500. We'll make the bet of 500. Do you want me to call? Yeah. OK. <laughs> That's about the most honest exchange I've seen at the table. I'm very honest. There you have it. Oh, and Jack. I don't have anything, but I will call you. <laughs> I really feel like I will hit on the river, just so I know that. You want me to hit If I river? check, will you still hit, though? We'll I see. feel like if I bet you would have hit. Ooh. Now I'm not so sure. 700. 700? Friendly bet. Brian taking a stab on this river. Not a bad spot for him to bluff. Calling it? 
Yeah. Oh, donation. You're good. Queen high. No. <laughs> if he's going to bluff, he needs to go big. He has a couple of very important nut blockers there with the ace of spades and a 10. And a stab like that will just get you called by pairs. So a uh, sort of sloppy hand from Brian, but he's having fun out there. He's very brave, has a lot of imagination in his game. Probably the most aggressive at the table. He could be the big winner tonight. Who knows? We'll see. A7 here for Johnny. He folds. Now, Justin Young will raise this up. Raise. And Brian over the top for a thousand. I only pause because I thought about four betting. That's it. <laughs> Brian has been more of a call oriented player than re raiser. And so Justin playing a little cautious, just calls pre flop. Justin hitting aces and checking. Goes check, check, king on the turn. So Justin checking again. Oh my gosh. I'm oh, just paying you. Want to check it down? Oh, cool. oh you f or sorry. <laughs> it's all right. I don't know if I can say it on the TV. I shouldn't have said that. I don't, I don't, even, I don't even think. I mean, what can you be? Do you have a king? Uh, I have a painted card in my hand. You have an ace? He checked, he checked. I don't know. I want to call just to see it. I think you have me beat. I got to commend the dialogue between Justin and Brian. These guys are really just sort of thinking out loud, and you almost never see it on the table. Peace. And you'll sleep well tonight with 1,500 less. Justin taking the pot down. You're welcome. Thank you. That's just Sorry. for intel. <laughs> so one bad thing about this not being streamed normally when they run these, like, you, you go on break and you sit there and you're like, what the <laughs> got me? <laughs> or you just call. I paid the 1500 just to see it.